Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and it's Monday, so you know what that means. It's Mini Monday Madness time, and I decided let's paint a mini lighthouse. Um, this is a lighthouse up in Gloucester, Massachusetts. Uh, it's pretty, and I figured, why not paint this one? Um, so I go over the whole entire thing step by step. I even teach you how to draw this, but if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable, and the link to Patreon is in my description box, and the little icon eye up in the corner here in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, my peeps, we're gonna go over supplies and whatnot. So I just have a piece of a three inch by three inch, 100% um, cotton arches, cold pressed paper. Always, all my supplies are in the description box, so just scroll down for that. It's taped down with scotch tape on just a, just a piece of cardboard. I have my paper towels, my brushes, my paints, I go over them as I use them. Water jars are up here, la la la. Um, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable, the little traceable. If not, it's pretty simple for me to show you how to draw this. Um, basically, you've got your square, very simple, Let's zoom in a little bit. And just think about the horizon line where you're going to have it. It's going to be like three quarters of the way down, right? And then we're going to draw the lighthouse. So over to the right a little bit, just this line, kind of on an angle. Another one here. Then the little house, you're gonna put a line right here. You're gonna swing a little curve of the little house and go down in triangle. And then the little door here, we're gonna curve the line and we're gonna put the lines here out where the curve is. And that's the lighthouse part. And we're just gonna do another two lines here. Just kind of shade that in, kind of a triangle and a point. And then we have a little window here. And then just for the bottom, just a little rough rocks, some bigger ones up here. And that's pretty much it. I mean, we're just gonna be painting them. We're not gonna really be drawing them as much as we're painting them. And the same thing with the clouds and the little V um, seagulls. And this is the ocean right here. But that's how you do it. And you can just slow down the drawing. I think the uh, lighthouse is a pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So we're gonna work on the sky first. If you want to, um, put masking fluid in the, the lighthouse, you could do that. I've already got my lighthouse traced in here where I'm gonna put the ocean and whatnot. You can make a cloudier sky, you make a brighter sky. I'm gonna mix it kind of combination. So I have my peacock blue here. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Peacock blue. I have the other colors mixed in here. I had some grays mixed in here. So it's gonna kind of, not as bright. I could make it bright. I can throw in some of this. I'm sorry, it wasn't peacock blue. It was Prussian blue. Excuse me. Now I mix in some peacock and some Prussian. I'm just going to water this down. I'm going to do wet on dry. I'm just going to take some of this paint, really wet. And I'm just going to go across here a little bit. I can go over this part of the lighthouse, but not this part. That's the white part. So I'm just gonna take my brush. It's a Princeton eight long round velvet touch. And I'm kind of holding it on the side. I'm just kind of wiggling it and don't want to get that lighthouse. I want to get next to the lighthouse. Now I, I just sketched out some clouds for you guys um, in the uh, download traceable. You don't have to follow that to the T, which I'm not doing actually. I'm just kind of wiggling in some blue, right? Leaving some of it white where the clouds would be. And just play around with that. Um, many times I show you guys how to just make clouds by taking a paper towel and taking out the color, which I'll show you how to do that in a second. So here you can just paint over this section of the White House. Just like that. Leave some blue here. A lot of white clouds. So you can just go in here, this section. You can add a little bit of grays too. I have some gray over here. Just add a little bit of the gray if you don't want it so bright. So while that's still damp, you can just like lift up your paper towel, scrunch it like this, and you can just tap it like that, and you've got the clouds. 
just that way. I'm going to go back in because it's going to dry pretty lightly and add some more deep color um, to my sky. Mostly on the top. I'll kind of come back in again over around in here and a little bit in here. We're just going to play around with getting some darker tones in here going across. And I can even add some deeper gray blues underneath the cloud part here. Again down in here. Just using the brush and just wiggling across back and forth not to get the house and I've got the sky if you want to this, like I said you can just paint the color blue like that and then just go right back in and take out the color all these kind of like almost natural looking clouds just by using your paper towel And you kind of want to put like a darker tone underneath that white part. Just tapping it in. And you just highlight the clouds just by adding a darker tone underneath the white area. Just like that. Kind of stormy, but not really. Right, and again, if you want to get the the clouds a little bit dark, I mean the sky a little bit darker up top, just keep playing around with that. Adding, so this is fairly wet. I wouldn't suggest um, painting the lighthouse part just yet because it might bleed into it, and we don't want that to happen. Okay, so we're going to work on the rocks down below. Now that we have our sky, I think I might just add a little bit more color here on the top. Some brown blues. And over in here, just kind of make it a little more interesting. Slightly stormy, you know? Okay. Now we're gonna do like the, the rocks that we have over here. I'm gonna take our Van Dyke Brown. I'm gonna do a bunch of colors like, it's like browns and beiges, a little bit of gray. I have my Cabin Yellow Deep. I'm adding some of that to that brown. I'm gonna just start to flush in where the rocks are. This uh, brownish golden color. So I'm just kind of dabbing it in here. It's a little too much water. Not getting too serious about it. I'm just going to just tapping in this color brown. I'm zoom in. Beigey brown. I had some bigger rocks in the foreground in the sketch. See, I'm just I'm kind of moving the paint around haphazardly. And I'll go back in and I'll add some deeper tone browns. So I'll have the Van Dyke brown, maybe a little gray to that, paints gray or a little black. I'll just start tapping in. Tap, tap, see, just tap. You can kind of tap it on the side like that. Not too dark though, <clears throat> excuse me. And you don't want it so it's bleeding out. You want more differentiated colors. Grab some of your grays. Put some of those gray tones. See? By tapping it, it seems like more different colored rocks. See, I'm putting a darker tone in there, just in the section. And some down in here. If you keep tapping it while it's wet, it's just gonna bleed, and we want we want the different tones of the rocks. So you can put some dark ones up in here. Less paint more color pigment will help with that. Just like that. It's pretty simple. 
See, I'm just kind of just taking the tip of my brush and wiggling it around, adding some darker tones. And I'm gonna let that dry for a bit, and we'll come back to it. Then I'm gonna take a gray that we have, I mean blue, gray, or gray. I'm gonna start painting around by the lighthouse. So underneath this lighthouse, particular has like a gray, it's standing on like a gray concrete kind of structure. I'm just going to flush that in. Bluish gray structure. I might add a little more black or paint gray pigment to that while it's still wet. Just in the edge where it meets the lighthouse. I'm still using this uh, number eight Princeton long round. If this is too cumbersome for you, I would switch to the four. That's a smaller. I'm probably going to be switching to the four in a bit. But right now I'm still using the eight. I'm going to go back in here again, add some deeper dark tones, just like that. I'm going to go back in here too with the browns and some grays. Just get those darker tones. You can kind of make, make like little arcs for rocks. to differentiate between the rocks and just these blatty little marks. Just like that. Okay, so the roof of this little house is going to be like an orangey red. So I have my, uh, you know, you can use whatever orangey red you have. I'm just going to mix my Guanacodrome Magenta with an Academy Yellow Deep and I'll create that orangey red color tone. just for those two colors. Just going to fill that in. Just like that. See, it has a slight curve to it. This is the lighthouse in the Gloucester area of Massachusetts. Okay. Trying to take off the excess water. And now this is dry kind of around this area. You can start playing with the shadows of the lighthouse. They'll be in more gray tones. So I have all my grays over on the side of the palette. <clears throat> this is a mixture of blue grays and grays. I'll just tap it on my paper towel to see if I like the color gray that I have. You know, grays come in many tones whenever you're putting with them. So I'm going to put some gray tones, really light on this side of the lighthouse. See kind of like an angle, swooping angle. And then here where the house meets the lighthouse. Be careful not to get the red just yet. And then here the house is going to be in the gray shadow. If you want to add a little blue tinge to that. And then we have a doorway there. That's why I got the number four brush. It's very tiny. If it's still damp, we're going to grab our deeper, darker grays, and we're going to do this. We're going to be doing the center part of the lighthouse. So it's just basically like a rectangle shape, right? And then it has that roof. It's kind of a triangle, the point. We're going to let that kind of dry before we go in and add um, the black railing and whatnot. And if you can go and take your brush, just hit the side a little bit, this gray going down on both sides. Just be gentle with that so then you really can see the lighthouse come to the forefront. At this point we can put in the ocean. Um, blues, you can make some blues, the same kind of blues we had before, or you can put some um, magenta in there, so it's more of an ultramarine blue, which I just did here, uh, a little more on the purple blue side, and we're just going to put some of that glue going across. You can still go back in and add the peacock if you wanted to. And leaving some white
putting a little blue here, leaving white. In between, see, I'm just using my brush and going horizontally across the paper and leaving some white marks just like that. You can water that down and do a little blue coming down in here on the front again, leaving a little bit of white. You can get even darker still, kind of in the horizon. Just going across. Just like that. I'm going to really light. Again, we can go back in with the rocks. I added some that blue to the brown. And we're just going to start to make these like roundish type shapes with the darker tone. You can go in with that brown too. Just go in here. Don't overdo it with the shapes. Just like that. And I think um, our background kind of faded a little bit here with that um, the cement block that it's on. You can go in and add some more of that yellow beigey color too. So I've got the cabin yellow deep, mixed with some of that brown, take some of that red. Getting this like light, light tanny yellow golden color. Add some of that in here, like a highlight if the sun's hitting it. Don't want it too just all brown. You see the differentiation? Okay, so this kind of dry. I'm going to go back in with our black, almost black, Payne's gray. Oh, I actually have black. And we can go and make the curved line and the railing. All the little railings. Oh, I just realized it's still wet there. It happens, folks. Take my paper towel and tap that. Make sure yours is dry. And we go in here with the roof. The triangle. So you get the railing. There's a little window here on the side. You can take that dark color and just go down here under the roof of this. It's going to be pretty dark. Right? And then the doorway. Tip of the brush, just do the line, the door underneath the awning of the house, and then just a line down here. And then there's also a, a bridge that comes here, so there's a line going across. See, the line's going down. So we're getting that. Clean up that brush. I'm going to grab some grays. Really light. I'm going to go back in here and make this a little bit darker. With the tip of the brush, just be careful. And the doorway is in the shadow. Get a little bit darker in the shadow here. Just be careful with that. Take your time. There's no need to rush. And I have a little bit of gray go under the awning on this here. Oops. Gonna add a little blue door. I'm gonna take it going in tweaking. We're gonna add a little darker still under here. Because remember it's in the shadow. I feel like the red washed out a little bit, so you might want to do another um, pass of the red. Just just going on top of your your red that you did, just to brighten it up, and then adding a little bit on the side here. 
It's much brighter, right? And then this is where we're going to tweak some stuff. We're going to maybe add some darker tones to the clouds here and here and there. Like I said, I'm going to tweak this up. Just grabbing some deeper blue, going across under the white area. Just kind of wiggling that. It's just going to give it more depth to your painting. Not this one dimensional sky. Because it does dry later. Watercolor dries much later. So you, sometimes you have to add multiple layers. So I'm going and adding in some layers just to give it interest. Even with this little brush, I'm just kind of pushing the paint around. I've grabbed some more water and I'm pushing it around. And it's a different, different tone blue. It's just going to help your clouds have like a new vibrancy in the tones. Again, on the side next to the lighthouse, just get some nice vibrant color so it stands out more. I'm just grabbing some of the blues that I already had. And the sky has really come to life, right? And then on the edge again, where your horizon line is with the ocean, just go back in with some, see it dry really light. Less paint, just more pigment, and adding in some deeper color strokes. It's just going to have that more realistic variety to it. And down in here also in the front foreground. And grab some more darker paint. See that? Just little dashes and strokes. It's going to really liven up the painting. Look at that. You really just want that bright white on this, this side of it. And I'm just going to keep going in, adding a few more darker tones. Just going to punch up that lighthouse even more. The clouds, a cloudy ocean day. Uh, so I live in Massachusetts, there's a lot of lighthouses around. Okay, once you're satisfied with your clouds, <laughs> um, just going through in a few, um, and also your house and everything, I'm going to add a little more deeper blue to this door. And just get a little bit darker again on the shadow, because that part is in the shade. Okay, we're going to just take some black paint or whatever deep dark gray you have. Throw in some seagulls. And these are the easy, my dad had some of these in his paintings. Little bees, right? Make sure this is not too wet. I'm just gonna do a little curve. I would do three, I keep things in odds. If you wanna do five, do five. But I'm just gonna do three, the little birds. And then go back in here and tweak with the, while I have that deep dark color. Just the fence walking to the little house, the doorway, the window here. We're just tweaking all that stuff. And then the rocks again. Let's go back in and tweak. Add some deeper, darker tones in the foreground. Can even add some green brown grasses kind of like in the front. Even a little bit of green. If you want to do that. And that's that. So let me zoom out. Okay, it's always the tape that's hard to get off. I just like this little mini. It's so cute. And I really don't think it was that hard. Um, you just take your time with the house and you'll get to it. I'm lifting up all the cardboard <laughs> the paper. Okay. And look how quaint. If you're a person who loves the ocean like I do, this is a great way to start off the new year, right? Let's think about summer already, <laughs> the ocean, but I thought you guys would enjoy this. So um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Like I said all the time, my supplies and my um, 
what I use is in the description box. Hit that, hit the words underneath. There's a little teeny arrow kind of bending underneath the word show more. Hit that and the whole description box comes down. And if you're a Patreon member, the traceable is there. If not, I showed you how to draw it. Just slow down the video and you can you can draw this. But it's really just kind of wiggling the paint in. So thank you guys for stopping by for our Mindy Monday Madness. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care and I will speak to you soon.